All right, kids, I'm going to tell you about a time. A time that when you needed food, your mom or dad wouldn't hit buttons on their phones. They'd actually go to a place called a grocery store. There were shopping carts, plus someone called the produce guy. And just like you have grandparents and great grandparents, so did these stores. Oh, and don't be scared, but there was also someone called the butcher. Back in the late 18th century, those stores were called general stores. The idea behind a general store is a store that really sells everything. General merchandise for a local community. People didn't have to go all the way to a bigger town, a bigger city, but they could get everything they wanted in this central location within pretty much walking distance or maybe riding a horse. Well, since my horse-drawn carriage was in the shop, I walked my way over to the J.R. Jones General Store at the Henry Ford Museum's Greenfield Village. Is this just a building that's been made to look like a general store, or was this building actually a general store? This building was actually a general store. It came from Waterford, Michigan, about 30 miles northwest of here. Henry Ford found it, and he wanted an old-time general store for his village green in Greenfield Village. The store today represents the needs of its community back in the 1880s. That community was comprised of artisans, craftspeople, and farmers. This was an era before self-serve, which was about 30 years away. It was the responsibility of the storekeeper to understand his patrons and their needs, then stock the store accordingly. Well, I like the generality of this store. I mean, it's a general store, but what does it have for me? Well, let's say that you're a gentleman from the 1880s and okay. you want to look successful and you want to look respectable. I don't want people to think I'm a fop, but I also don't want them to think I'm a ragamuffin. Let's look at these ties. These were called tech scarves. They were basically the predecessor to today's neckties. Yeah, that looks, yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, sort of. Not too bad. That, I'd say that that's pretty respectable. All right. For women, though, customization was needed. Whole sections of the general store were devoted to textiles, thread, and sewing notions. Bringing the store's physical elements together in one place was also a way to bring the townspeople together. So this area looks kind of like a post office. This area is the part that's not about buying products. It's about community gatherings. The post office would have basically been at the storekeeper's desk. Each section of products in the general store was referred to as a department, which you might have guessed was a precursor to what we now know today as the department store. So why all the barrels? The barrels were an old fashioned way of selling products. The storekeeper would buy all these products wholesale in big quantities like sugar and flour and beans and dried beef, and he could get a good price for those. I'm known for my hair. What have you got for my hair? For you, we have something called hair pomade, which was very popular during that time. And it was made out of supposedly grease from bears in the Rocky Mountains. When I want to look my best, a little bear grease goes a long a bear way. Grease. One stop shopping, notions over there, lotions over here, the good old fashioned way.